Hi everyone, our video blog this week, it's about Lower Town East traffic study. We're beyond the study, we're in the construction phase. Some good news here, uh, we're going to meet with the city in a few minutes. But first, there's a new development here at the corner of uh, Rideau and Chapel, which on the other side is Beausoleil and Chapel. And that developer, that developer is no longer opening this intersection of Beausoleil and Chapel, which is great news for our community. We're seeing uh, a new uh, adult crossing guard right behind me in front of St. Anne School, which is great for York Street students, for De La Salle students, and for, um, for St. Anne students. And we're now we're taking a look at some of the infrastructure uh, in terms of permanent traffic calming here in Lower Town East. We're meeting with the city staff. Hi, my name is Jamie McDonald, uh, Senior Engineer for the City of Ottawa. I'm Michael Misho, Project Designer for the City of Ottawa. And I'm Justin Swan, a Project Manager with the Transportation Planning Group. So Justin, we're on Coburg Street. Coburg is, is seeing three different changes near St. Patrick, here uh, at Clarence, and then uh, at the higher part at uh, Beausoleil with the PXO. Existing on Coburg, we had parking, we had two lanes of traffic, and we had cycling infrastructure, and there have been some interactions here uh, with, o with OC Transpo at the bus stop at Clarence. So uh, can you share with us what's planned and, and how that's supposed to, uh, to improve transit and, and pedestrian safety across Clarence? Yeah, so this intersection here at uh, Coburg and Clarence was a major concern uh, from the residents. So what we've done is we've looked at improving the bus stops by, by putting them out into the street so they're a little bit more visible and preventing that possibility of traffic cutting by the traffic and uh, also putting pedestrians at the crossing in a little bit of a better spot to, to be seen by oncoming traffic. This fits with our current guidelines that uh, sort of fall under the transportation master plan. So you can see here as well, there's a, a cycle track that will pass behind where passengers will be waiting. That's kind of in line with our, our current safe, uh, safe design practice. And as you said, there's other changes up on the street uh, to help make conditions better for all road users. It's going to help slow traffic down. It's going to make pedestrians more visible. And, and also as well, this is a cycling uh, cross town route. So you, you'll see that there are improvements for the cyclists as well. Great, thank you. So, uh, Mike, we're doing an analysis of what was done in terms of our plan. There's always deficiencies where we live in an imperfect uh, environment. So what's your role in terms of monitoring and in terms of enforcing some of those deficiencies? Okay, so I do have to design per the city of Ottawa's standards. We yep. uh, we try to do the same method of construction at every location in Ottawa. Yes. We have an inspector on site that follows my plans to try and build it exactly how I've drawn it. Yeah. And then you mentioned deficiencies, so when it can't be done exactly how we've asked them, then I'll come in the field and check it out to see if it's going to drain how we asked them to or if the pole is going to be affected if it's in the wrong location, stuff like that. Yeah. We were just speaking with uh, with Justin relating to uh, the actual changes at Beausoleil, Clarence and Old St. Patrick. Right. What does it require in terms of infrastructure? So we have a contractor on site, they, they see the drawings and then they implement what the city's pre-approved? Um, yes, they, they see the drawings, they bid on the drawings and uh, the low bidder comes in and, and there's uh, drainage improvements or drainage uh, rehabilitation. There's, um, there's removals of the sidewalk and everything that's there to put uh, everything that's there originally to put it uh, the way it is now. And, and once they do all the removals, then they'll come in and, and start with the curb. After the catch basins are uh, are moved, they'll start with the, the curb and then uh, the asphalt, and that's what stage you're at now. There was eight or nine locations here, so yeah. so they. Um, they finished uh, the concrete in mo at most locations and now they're doing the asphalt and after that they'll do the landscaping and, and, uh, and painting. And painting. And so, so Justin, we're in front of the largest French uh, public high school in Ottawa, De La Salle. Uh, we had complaints in the past of just continuous speeding and obviously a lot of flow of students crossing the street at Old St. Patrick. What are these changes uh, meant to be? So we have the new pedestrian crosswalk, so that's good. Proper lighting. And then we have something new here along uh, along the corridor. Yeah, so you see this long, wide median down the, the center of the road. And what that does is it acts as traffic calming. It prevents people from trying to pass buses. And, and it also slows them down as they get to the crosswalk. And this, this year is a very busy crosswalk twice a day. There's nobody here right now, but from uh, School's still in there, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Great, so uh, looking forward to it. We're discussing some of the, the flow of folks and how the lighting and 
how when the bus is loaded on load how, how that will work but I think it's certainly a, a good measure to see some traffic calming. Absolutely. Most of our streets in Lower Town and Sand Hill and Vanier were built in a different era. So we're trying through traffic calming, uh, through re a road redo, through uh, measures like this to really make a difference in communities to keep the flow of vehicles on our main street. Obviously Lower Town East has been impacted by uh, the flow towards McDonald Kelsey Bridge, especially in the afternoon peak periods. We want folks to stay on the Vanny Parkway, on St. Patrick, on Rideau, on King Edward, and really protect these residential community like here in Lower Town East.